war ceases to be an instrument of foreign policy. Assassination and adhere to the given purpose. And whatever is said in the process, we are entitled to ask this because I'm striving in this United Nation to clear the ground to get confidence upon which we can base our actions. And it's no use hiding our feelings or our thoughts or pretending. In the writings of Lenin himself, this is what he said. We are living, says Lenin. On the other hand, if having obtained assured security in their own Soviet territory, they then use the territory of other states and the people of other states to prepare attacks upon us, then a very different situation is created in which we can only look to our defense. We are responsible for the safety of, the, uh, uh, of our own people, and we must do it. May I make one other statement which will remove a good deal of misapprehension? Because there's so much about communism and capitalism as well as themselves. There is no such thing as aggressive. It's not the simple people who want to fight. The, uh, the why was it necessary? Why the perpetual war of nerves involving, in this case, actual fighting against the lawfully elected Greek government and the valiant and sorely tried Greek people? We know the reason. It is that the Soviet spider wants Greece within its web. It's a great pleasure to me to have the opportunity of following the last speaker from New Zealand and to associate myself with a good deal or with all that he said. The last speaker and I were boys together in helping to make the great movement we now represent. Solemn and exceptional cases. Show us the deal. It's yet when we lift a finger or say a word in return. A resolution must be carried by this United Nations to stop us because it's so offensive. It is we who are the victims of the Cold War, waged almost up and down ever since the war closed. I have already quoted the figures of our terrible war losses in and the other associated bodies. Mr. President and fellow delegates, in the light of what I've said about the Soviet attitude to security, disarmament, atomic energy and the veto, how can we regard the latest proposals put forward by Mr. Vysinski in his speech? He must forgive us if we are suspicious. No structures to which we may now turn. There may yet grow that world government for which humanity yearns and to which it has been striving and struggling for so long. Supposes. Uh. Why should uh, there be an attack upon the United Nations Special Commission for the Balkans? Why should not the United it's not they who want to take other people's homes and territories or to dominate. Sir, even here in Paris, when we met to discuss the Marshall Plan objectively, we were threatened 
if we went on with it, it would be very bad for us. But we went on. All these things have contributed to uncertainty. To restore confidence now, and confidence is needed. We need deeds, not words.